So our 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 Tomcat started properly with the port number five zero six seven. Our our web service deployed properly in locally. So now we can run it like this. The we set it here already. Our our URL call and then this is our base URL. Uh, we did our implementations. Now we try to run our one of the test cases. How it look like to see? We see we run this 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 test cases and the pictures look like. So you have to go there. So before run this test case, of course, in it, we already run our web applications, and you see that in the in the console level when you call it, and you see the information which function is calling with the parameter combination, how many records is there. So let's see how is it look like. run maven test the computer getting slow a little bit Let's have a wait. So our web application is running. So you see, this is our on the test cases that we set the parameters. Like here, the parameter combination is ten record. We are loading. We are calling the billing information. That what we expect. And here is the function call. The the first first uh, first input parameter call. And that's this. You can see the pictures. How many the all the combination of your input parameters. Uh, the we we set it ten records and set the values like the the these parameters. And then you see get the outputs like ten records, and there is a second call of the web service. The the combination of the, the parameters that's unique. You already set it here. And then uh, then the, the the service call this parameters, and there is another ten call the web service. So that means we when you have the all the implementations, then please run the all the test cases that you have it in the systems. And all the combination of the test parameter, output, input, and check the, all the input parameter is working or combination of parameter means. Uh, normally, what I did in professionally to follow the, this touch structure. So when the development is in, the, in our interface definition done, development is done. We run our tests uh, in the in the in the in the in the in the applications, and then. And after that, we, we now we try to start our our implementing our controller. So it's very simple. So it's a very simple controller. So it's it's like we annotated it's a controller and then model view controller and this is the controller definition. We inject uh, our, our our service beans and we inject our message beans and we call it like the the, the URL. So this is the default. So we see the default URL and go to this level and and then uh, we set our request parameters and then call the Call the service and here that's the service call. If is the object is null and you set the models, it's here the request models, and and then then models here. Then you set it call the web service with input parameter. Set the set the add the attributes and if is null and then set the default attribute when searching the 100 records and then and so on. So set the attributes to counter 
and then and so on so forth so you see that even though you can control more control all to put it here all business logic this the controller level uh, or the more business logic uh, this level uh, or the in service implementation level the interface uh, in this level i mean um, the implementation level all of the the control is done by here so if you maybe you don't need to to filter we need to something to group it here then you have to be uh, to set it grouping functionalities here if you maybe some this input output and input parameter is not to pass here you have to control the here this level or this the output parameter is not to to show the end user then you can control this level so this here or even though you can control the uh, in the controller level so here this case one of the example if is the objective parameter done we, we set additional control uh, okay we we how many record we get it and then we set the counter add attribute counter attribute and put it here attribute and push it to the to the web page and see the how many records for this is the request of the combination of parameter exactly same things uh, to you call the web which web, web uh, the service and 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 set the attributes and that's and so on and so forth then and this this short code you can get it in from the my my, my github i will put it there so at least not this it's, it's, it's a big project but if you download the project and run the application then that's all this is the idea so to look for this one so so our controller definition is is done is is okay we we did our development in the in the server side uh, test our uh, test uh, the server side and and call the fun the functionalities to the controller and then we need to build uh, our web pages so as it is the standard structure of the of the spring boot we need to the templates as a, as a directory and the pigments and a directory additional the you pigment means to to put it in your web page header and footer and then um, and then you can see the the, the layout i put it like extra layout and header and footer even though you can put it all of them together and then here the html page the index page when the application started to read the index pages so index page is containing the all the all the all the hyperlinks of what the application is running so it's just running the all the the roads and buildings the land use and point and places and and then in the natures and railways and waterways so this is our index page when the application that is index page come up together so here's the the building information i know he's the, all the input parameter settings as a forms yeah, and then a form has a has a all the the input parameters and call the the, the functions in the controller and then set the 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 wsm name type and id and wsm uid and such the attribute and this is the call of the uh, iterate through the u records so this is the, our attribute set in the in the controller and if you see, go to the buildings uh, buildings then you see that the controllers attribute set and counter attribute set so that means in in the in the in the in the, in the, in the html page just we call the controller if he's not null through something to accept something and this is the our you know the attribute call how many record for this search criteria with this search criteria has to be out and this is the the table header and this is the output of the so we iterate through the, our result sets and then we'll put it the result set uh, with the each of the columns and then this is our footer, footer definitions and the default footer definitions so that's it's perfectly okay then you set it here there's the same thing for the for the land use and natures is exactly the same with the different combination of parameter or maybe different result output and this is the as that's all uh, this is the same thing and when you define your all the html pages to calling the your controller then you can run the applications in, in locally so what i did just i i packed the complete applications as as an executable jar file then 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 we can execute those web application to externally and then this is the part i like to do as, as a professional way because the the it's, it's a little bit hard for the beginner but it is it, this is the professional life we we, we handle those those applications in the day-to-day -day life developments so it's uh, sometimes it's, it's a lot of viewers and subscribers say oh most of uh, it's, it's really hard to 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 understand because we are too beginner but 
I try to come up with really more detail, but in the in the short time, is is this really, for me is really hard to come up with really more details in the basic level. So just follow the step by step and download the source code, and and I I I believe you can get the proper ideas uh, how the in the professional.